Hi guys, welcome to today's video. On um, the last video, you saw me take apart some of the battery in an attempt to repair it. I figured out what cells it was. And in this video, we're going to be removing those cells and uh, getting it ready for when the new cells show up. Um, so stay tuned for that. But first, I want to show you the Tau Leo's tires and why it's a good idea to get them replaced. All right, one thing I advise with the Tau Leo is that uh, you change your stock tire. As you can see, I had this for, I don't know, about six months worth of riding. This is the stock tire that comes on the Tau Leo. Where's the name on it? Does it even have a name? No. <laughs> it says nylon, rotation. Does it have a name on the other side? Yeah. Redo or whatever. But yeah, that's the tire that comes on the bike. With the... Careful what you do with it. They wear out fast. I put a Michelin on mine. So the tires aren't rated to go as fast as the Tau Leo goes, so they do wear out quick, and uh, it's better to replace them than to blow out a tire like I did, as I'm sure you saw in that clip. And here's what I replaced them with. They are Michelin. I'm going to turn you upside down here. Hopefully it does it. Uh, where do we got here? They are one. 4070 R17s Pilot Street Radials and I've been using these things for as long as I use the original ones for and there is still like a lot of tread depth left on these tires so yeah get yourself a good set of tires okay so as you saw I replaced them with Michelin's it's a great idea but without further ado let's get down to this battery So I never throw caution to the wind. I taped up all the bottom cells and I put a piece of wood here because what I'm going to do is the positive cells, they, they, they freak me out. When you're prying up metal, sometimes you can touch the positive to the outside ground and they'll spark a little. So uh, I'm just going to pry up all the negatives on this side and then when I get to the other side, pop out this way and then I can remove this whole row replace the whole row, weld all these ones on, and then flip it over and weld all the ones on the other side up and then I can reconnect the balance cable. Right now I've just got it off and taped and out of the way because I have to pry all this up anyway. And then once we get all that done, uh, we'll assess if we need any new nickel or anything. Probably, we'll probably need a whole new nickel strip and the cross ones, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. Uh, let's get these cells out. A few moments later. All right, so this is basically the idea. You just want to get this nickel strip off of these ones and not off of the other ones behind it. That's why I tape this piece of wood here. Keeps it so it doesn't bend up any further. Okay, so they're all detached now. So now we can flip it over. And do this side over here. I'm just going to take this whole strip off right here. One hour later. Okay, because this is the first time I've ever done this, and this thing freaks me out a little. Uh, the next side, it's actually these cells up here, these positives, which are the bad ones. But I figured I'd detach it from the ground because it's safer. Get it off the powered batteries first, and then I can pretty much pull up all these ones and slide the batteries out through the bottom and put the new ones in and put the new nickel strip on and then flip it over, reattach the other nickel strip, put the new lead on and it, sh it should be good. And I'm almost through them. Two hours later. Man, this is sketchy, but I'm getting it done. Six hours later. Alright, so I got all those off. Now, if you can see on each of the cells here, there's these little tabs. So I gotta, like, cut all these tabs off. Otherwise, I'm not sliding these batteries out. 
So I'm just deciding whether I want to go from this side and slide them out this way or whether I want to go from the other side because just going by one side only will allow me to still keep those tabs on the other side. So that'll make it, uh, you know, fairly easy to reinsert the batteries and stuff. I really don't want to break this whole thing, right? So, all right, I'm going to get these batteries out. Oh, by the way, the nickel strip is not too bad, you know? For a couple of few uh, repairs here and there, I should be able to reuse this. Hang tight. Two thousand years later. Okay, got all the cells out. We'll have a look at the other side. Okay, all the batteries are out. There they all are. Okay, the one thing you want to do is on the end of every battery, there's these little green paper things. See, I've already taken them off of these ones. So you just, they just peel off. So I'm just taking all those off because they're going to go on the new ones. And I'm just going to stick them up here. So yeah, I'm going to peel all those off because I need it. Every one of them might as well reuse. A few moments later. And I've looked around at these. These are not real Samsungs, even though they say INR P2500. No, the real Samsungs will say Samsung INR 186525R. These are the cheap knockoffs from AliExpress that they don't even really have in stock anymore. Gee, I wonder why, and they're all like this. That'll do it for that row, and then I guess if I lose any more, I'll, I'll know how to fix it now. Okay guys, so we got all the cells out. Um, I decided not to go with the Samsung 25Rs because they're just out of my price range, and if I wanna have my Leo up and running anytime soon, uh, I'm gonna get uh, some different ones. Well, here's here's what I'm gonna get. Uh, the uh, the spot welder I'm going to get, as well as the nickel, and finally, the batteries. Alright, so this is the spot welder I'm going to get. 7 to 16 volt DIY portable spot welding machine, spots welding circuit board welding device spot welder for 18650, 26650, 32650 battery, holy. But I, uh, I watched another video of a guy on YouTube using this. I can't remember what channel it was. Sorry, buddy. I wish I could give you a friggin' uh, a pay it forward there, but uh, he was using this one and it worked out really well. So I'm going to buy this. I'm also going to get this nickel strip. It's pure nickel, 99.96%. So, you know, there's no that other crap metal in it. Okay, so these are the cells I'm getting. Uh, I only bought eight for now because, well, I just don't have the money for all 16 of them. They're not Samsungs, but they're what I can afford. And I was going to show you the link, but uh, I'll show you what happens when I click on the link. See, I get this story. We couldn't fetch that page, and every time I try, it says the same thing. But I figured out a solution. I found these ones for you. And I will include a link to these. And uh, so yeah, there you go. 3.7 volt, 2500 ma, INR 18650, 25 hours. Replacement cells. So when they show up, we'll start putting those ones in. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, Got to wait for those cells and all them parts to come in before we can get that done. But in the meantime, there's a couple other videos I'm working on. So stay tuned for those ones. And in the meantime, feel free to watch this video right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.